pearls come in all shapes and sizes. Some are worth pennies, and others millions of dollars. Here are 15 of the biggest and most expensive pearls ever found. Number 15. The Giga Pearl When a man from Canada found out he was to inherit more than 15,000 antiques from his aunt's estate in 2016, he had no idea of the magnitude of one piece in particular. Known as the Giga Pearl, it's the world's largest known natural blister pearl, which means it grew attached to the inside surface of a shell. On this occasion, the shell in question was that of a Tridacna gigas, the largest mollusk species ever to have lived, and one that produces enormous pearls. Weighing in at a whopping 61 pounds, the tooth-shaped gem is estimated to be worth upwards of $90 million. Now paired with a 22-carat gold-leaf octopus, it's hoped that the pearl will be put on display at museums to give everyone a chance to see the marvel for themselves. Number 14. The Cowdray Pearls the Cowdray Pearl Necklace was created in 1932 by Cartier, with 40 Tahitian pearls, also known as black pearls, from the collection of Viscountess Cowdray. Each one is a stunning gem, with colors ranging from grays and blues to greens and purples, and making together one of the most sought-after pieces of jewelry in the world. It has been restrung several times in the subsequent years and is now made up of 42 pearls, and every time it's put up for auction, it breaks yet another record for the sale of black pearls. In 2015, it was sold for $5.3 million, which was $2 million more than it had sold for just a few years earlier, and is only expected to continue to grow in value as time passes, because it's one of increasingly few pieces that is known to have been made from natural pearls, and it has the provenance to prove it. Number 13. The Big Pink Pearl The Big Pink Pearl was discovered in 1990 by Wesley Rankin, who was diving in the waters of Salt Point State Park in Petaluma, California. The 470-carat stone was, for 20 years, the largest known abalone pearl to have ever been found, and at the time of the discovery, it was valued at around $4.7 million, meaning it'd be worth many times that amount today. It's still owned by Rankin, though, who has become well-known as an abalone pearl dealer, but surprisingly, there's still somewhat of a mystery around his greatest find. It's not entirely clear which species of oyster it came from. Either it was a pink species called Haliotis corrugata, or a red species called Haliotis refescens. Either way, both are known for producing stunningly beautiful gems, and if you ever find one, it's worth carefully looking inside. Number 12. The Sleeping Lion The Sleeping Lion is the largest freshwater pearl in the world and is believed to have been found in the 1700s. At one point, it was owned by Catherine the Great of Russia and passed through the hands of several further kings and queens before being put up for sale for the first time in 200 years in 2018 and selling for $374,000. At 2.7 inches long and weighing 4.2 ounces, it's nowhere near as large as the record-breaking saltwater pearls, but it's still impressive. Its shape is mesmerizing, with previous owners writing how they would stare at it for hours seeing new folds and layers. It was called the Sleeping Lion because of the number of people who thinks it looks just like one of the predators who has just curled up for the night. Do you agree? Number 11. The Arco Valley Pearl The Arco Valley Pearl, named for where one of its previous owners lived, is thought to have been first found in Mongolia in the 12th century. And amongst many notable people who have possessed it throughout history are Marco Polo, several Chinese emperors, and Persian kings, and even Genghis Khan's grandson. It's 3.1 inches long, and when it went on sale in 2007, it became the largest pearl that could be bought in the world, since all of the ones that are larger are kept in museums or private family collections. The 575-carat stone sold for $8 million and achieved such a huge price because of its pinkish and slightly yellow color, as well as its rich history that's unlike anything you'll get with a newly found pearl. Number 10. The Beauty of Ocean Pearl the giant, five-foot-tall Beauty of Ocean Pearl is one of the most highly prized and sought-after gems in China, more so than any diamond. But you won't find this monster in the record books, because it's not actually technically a pearl at all. Instead, this green sphere that glows in the dark began life as a giant piece of fluorite that had been found in Inner Mongolia. It took its finders more than three years to perfectly grind down into its current shape, but it was definitely worth it because the resulting stone is estimated to be worth far in excess of $100 million. The reason why stones like these, known locally as Chintamani, are so valued is because of their deep links with Buddhism. They're regarded as wish-fulfillment jewels, and green ones are particularly rare. 
They are depicted on Tibetan prayer flags and are often carried while reciting prayers. But with a weight of six tons, this one's more than likely going to be set firmly in place. Number 9. The Hope Pearl You may have heard of the famous Hope Diamond, but the man who discovered it, Henry Philip Hope, was a renowned gem collector. And he also came into possession of countless other priceless gems, including the Hope Pearl, which at 450 carats was believed to be the largest natural saltwater pearl to have ever been discovered when he purchased it in the late 18th century. It's not known where it originated, but it's thought to have come from the Persian Gulf or the Red Sea. It's about 2 inches wide and 4 inches long, ranging from a greenish gold color at one end to a perfect white at the other. The shape is incredibly unusual, having been polished to remove the blemish where it would have been attached to the shell, and it was Hope who had attached it to its crown-like pendant, which also contains rubies and diamonds. As it last sold in 1974 for $200,000 and has been kept in a private collection ever since, no one's sure how much it's currently worth. But with such a history and previous owners such as King Louis XIV, it's bound to be seven digits at the minimum. Before we move on, be sure to subscribe to Top 5s with notifications on. Number 8. Cleopatra's Pearl Cleopatra was known for her love of precious gems and reportedly had a collection of flawless giant pearls. But one she's most famous for isn't around anymore, for a very good reason. So the story goes she was hosting Mark Anthony for dinner, wanting to prove to him and the Roman Empire that Egypt was a worthy and extremely wealthy nation she bet that she'd be able to organize the most expensive banquet in history. After serving foods from far and wide, she had one trick up her sleeve to make sure she'd win. She took the pearl from one of her earrings and crushed it, dropped it into her goblet of wine, waited for it to dissolve, and then drank it. Upon seeing this, Mark Anthony conceded defeat and refused to do the same with the second pearl that was being offered to him. But the question remains, how valuable was that drink? According to Pliny the Elder, who told the story in one of his books, the two pearls were worth 60 million sesterti, which is the equivalent of around $32 million today. Not only does this mean that the gems must have been huge and flawless, but at $16 million, that was probably the most expensive glass of wine to ever be drunk. Number 7. The Horn Pearl In 2010, Peter Truong from Elk Grove in California was on his yearly diving trip in Mendocino when he discovered something that would change his life. As he was looking along the sea floor, he spotted a glimmer amongst the sand and soon realized that it was a pearl. It wasn't until later that he learned how significant this find would be, because when it was inspected by the Gemological Institute of America, they found it contained 718 carats, which made it the biggest abalone pearl ever discovered, beating the previous holder, the Big Pink, by 248 carats. Not only was it huge, but it was a peculiar shape. Rather than the spherical or drop you might expect, this one almost looks like a horn or a claw, and it also has a distinct color, changing between blue and green depending on the light. Abalone pearls are more desirable than others because they can't be artificially created, and it's thought that this one, if it were ever go up to auction, could be worth upwards of $20 million. Number 6. The Baroda Pearls the Baroda Pearl Necklace is one of the most valuable pieces of pearl jewelry to have ever been created, and was the prized possession of India's Maharaja Kande Rao Gekwad. He was known for his extravagant collection of precious gems, including countless large diamonds and pearl and diamond rug. But this seven-stranded necklace was on a different level. Designed to evoke a sense of elegance, wealth, and power, he wore it everywhere he went. And it would soon become world famous in 1908 thanks to a photograph taken of his successor, Sayaji Rao III, who was wearing the necklace while posing. At the time, the piece was valued at an estimated 50 lakhs of rupees, which was about $650,000. But most recently, it sold at auction in 2007 for just over $7 million. Number 5. La Peregrina According to legend, the La Peregrina pearl was originally found during the 1500s by an African slave who was in the waters off the coast of Santa Margarita in the Gulf of Panama. Officials soon realized how important a discovery it was, and rewarded him with his freedom before sending it back to Spain to give to the future king, Philip II. It was 0.7 inches by 1 inch, with a weight of 0.4 ounces before it was polished or drilled. And while many have since been found that are bigger, it's the documented history of this gem that makes it so special. King Philip gave it to Mary I of England when they married, and following her death it was returned to the Spanish royal family, 
where it was worn by queens for the next 250 years. In 1808, it was transferred to France under a directive of Napoleon and had been taken back to England by 1848. It was then that it was given its name, which means the Wanderer, and it remained in that family's possession until 1969 when it was sold at auction for $37,000 to Richard Burton, who gave it to Elizabeth Taylor for Valentine's Day. She commissioned Cartier to design a ruby and diamond necklace for the gem a few years later, which made it truly unique, and it became one of the most famous pieces of jewelry in the world. After her death, La Peregrina was again sold at auction to raise funds for her AIDS foundation, and this time it raised an astonishing $11.8 million, making it by far the most expensive pearl item to have ever sold. Number four, the Duchess of Windsor Pearl Necklace. In 1937, Wallace Simpson made headlines around the world. The American divorcee had been in a relationship with King Edward of Britain. So desperate was he to marry her that he gave up his throne to avoid scrutiny. They were both made the Duke and Duchess of Windsor, and she became renowned for her large collection of jewelry. Her most famous piece was a flamingo brooch that was made from diamonds, rubies, sapphires, and emeralds, which is thought to be worth $2.5 million. But her penchant for pearl necklaces led her to acquiring one of the most valuable and beautiful ones in the world, which had been created by Cartier in Paris. Now named in her honor, the Duchess of Windsor Pearl Necklace was once owned by Edward's mother, Queen Mary, and went on to remain in Simpson's possession for more than 40 years, and she was regularly seen wearing them along with the matching earrings. An auction in 1987 saw more than $65 million being spent on jewels just from her collection alone, but no one's entirely sure where her necklace ended up. Another pearl of hers sold in 2017 for just under $200,000, so if this famed necklace was to ever be put on sale again, it'd surely be worth millions, not least because of its involvement in a controversial period of royal history. Number 3. The Largest Natural Round Pearl when we think of pearls, we usually imagine a spherical stone, but the largest ones that ever formed look nothing like that and have ripples and edges that would rarely look well placed in a piece of jewelry. Most of the perfectly round ones you see for sale have been artificially created, but occasionally one will form like this in nature too. In 2014, however, experts found the largest natural round pearl in the world just by chance. A man had taken his wife's earrings into a jeweler for evaluation and was immediately identified as being something special. It was sent to a lab in Switzerland for testing, and x-rays confirmed their suspicions that it was a natural pearl, and had a diameter of 0.7 inches. At 33.14 carats, it was formed by a gold lip oyster, and would have taken 10 years to reach this size. It was by far the largest of its kind to ever be put up for auction, with a guide price of just under half a million dollars. To put it into perspective how unique this pearl is, the other pearl earring from the set was also tested, and it was found to be a cultured pearl from an oyster farm. Even though it was of similar size, it only valued at around $8,000. Number 2. Pearl of Lao Tzu The Pearl of Lao Tzu, also known as the Pearl of Allah, was once the largest known pearl in the world, but it arguably has one of the most intriguing stories of any gem. It was found by a Filipino diver in the Palawan Sea at some point in the 1930s, and while he didn't want to sell it because of its apparent similarity to the Prophet Muhammad, he gave it to an American, Wilburn Cobb, who had saved the man's son from malaria. At the time, it was known as the Pearl of Allah, but Cobb had an idea. He created an ancient Chinese legend to tie with the pearl in an attempt to make it more desirable and therefore valuable. According to this story, a disciple of the ancient Chinese philosopher Lao Tzu had placed the jade amulet that had belonged to his master into a clam more than 2,500 years ago. As it grew into a pearl, it was transferred between larger and larger clams and was the subject of countless wars before being transported to the Philippines for safety and being lost in a storm. While the tale is known to be fictitious, the pearl is still one of the most expensive in the world. Following Cobb's death in 1979, there have been disputes about who actually owns it, so it's currently not on display and being held as a part of a court probate. The eventual winners of the lawsuit stand to benefit massively, though, with the most recent estimate of its value being put at $93 million, so it's no surprise that others want a piece of the action. Number 1. The Pearl of Puerto If you found a massive gem, what would you do with it? In around 2006, a fisherman from Puerto Princesa on Palawan Island in the Philippines found that his boat anchor had become stuck on a giant clam, and he swam down to pull it loose. To his amazement, there was a giant pearl, which he had somehow managed to take back to land. 
But for the next 10 years, he kept it hidden under his bed as a good luck charm. It was only when he was packing up his belongings to move house that he remembered about his find and took it to his aunt to look after it. She showed it to the local mayor. At one foot wide, 2.2 feet long, and weighing 75 pounds, it's easily the largest natural pearl ever found, and is thought to be worth at least $100 million. Currently, it's on display in Puerto Princesa as a tourist attraction, but one day they plan to sell it to raise funds to help the local community. Subscribe to Top 5s for more and check out some of our other popular videos.